We'd like to show the different coal combustion byproducts, and we'll start off with the coal ashes and then show also the flue gas desulfurization byproducts. But as far as the ashes, we'll start off with a boiler slag. A boiler slag comes from a very high temperature furnace where the material that falls to the bottom is molten, and it goes through a slag tap, it goes to water where it's quenched, and then it fractures into this very glassy, angular material. And, but you can actually even see the little glassy shards that come off. So that's a material that has a lot of good beneficial uses like roofing granules uh, used in fiberglass shingle manufacture. Next we have the bottom ash and this comes from a dry bottom boiler where it, the temperature isn't as high as one that would produce boiler slag. But it's a porous material. It has beneficial use in ice control. A lot of municipalities use bottom ash if they don't want to use salt for traction during icy conditions. So it has beneficial uses as well. Now fly ash is the very fine particle that when the coal combusts it rises with the flue gas and it's captured at the top of the power generating unit in electrostatic precipitators or in some cases bag houses. It has beneficial use as uh, a concrete admixture. It's a substitute for cement, for Portland cement. And there are many other fine uses of fly ash. We have the fly ash here that we wanted to show the difference in color. This one has a lot of the carbon that is not burned off during the coal combustion process. If you'd like to see an ash like this, that shows an efficient power plant operation. The Cenosphere is an unusual product. It's a uh, very tiny particle and it has a slippery effect because they're actually spheres. They're hollow in the center and they float and they're harvested off of an ash pond. They have value as a lightweight aggregate. Um, they're used in paint as fillers. It's an interesting product that has good use. Now we shift from the ashes to the FGD byproduct. So the sulfur that came out of the flue gas stream, it has to go somewhere. And now we have it in solid form. So the sulfur that was in the flue gas, that was in the coal, that was in the flue gas, is now in this fixated FGD byproduct. It's primarily calcium sulfite in this process. It's mixed with fly ash and with lime, and it sets up. And this can be used in structural fill. It has a very low permeability. And then we have the FGD gypsum, which is a high-end product. It is calcium sulfate, as we say, and it is the same, basically, as mined rock gypsum which is the raw product that's used to manufacture wallboard. And it's unusual to dispose too much boiler slag. It's high-end product. It'd be unusual to dispose too much cenospheres, high-end product. But sometimes you're just not able to use all this. So anything that can't be used, the company disposes of in an environmentally acceptable manner.